run a red light normally comes in the mail. It looks like a ticket, looks like a real live, you know, ticket, but it's not. Traffic lawyers like Chris Corso say the state has 90 days to formally serve you with the real thing. That's just their way of trying to get you to either pay it, take the class, address it, call the court. But you do have the right to be served. Red light violations also carry extra penalties. Attorney Candy Marufo says drivers should be aware of them before thinking paying the fine makes it all go away. It actually comes with two points on your license. It also comes with traffic survival school, which is an eight-hour class that you have to do and pay for, um, in addition to whatever fine you pay. The state is also responsible to prove you were the driver, which is sometimes difficult if there are obstructions in the picture. Obstructions, like a rear view mirror, which could be blocking your face in the picture, making it difficult for the court to prove you were the one driving. Sometimes it isn't even you behind the wheel and someone else was driving your car. So if it wasn't you, you can nominate who it was and then I mean, basically rat somebody out <laughs> and, and tell them <laughs> this was the, you know, this was the person driving. This can still cause issues for the registered owner, especially if they need a clean driving record to keep their job. They go to court, don't really understand the implications and they just think that they could just pay a ticket and they're done with it. and. Next thing they know, their job is suspended, their license is suspended, and they can't just get it back. Even though it's been a few years since Phoenix has had the cameras, several other Valley cities still do. And both lawyers say their firms will answer questions about your red light tickets free of charge. I want everybody to understand their rights, and I don't necessarily need to take a fee to do that. The city is still working to see which intersections they'll be placed at, but the city council wants the cameras operating by fall of 2025. Reporting. For Operation Safe Roads, Adam Klepp, ABC 15, Arizona.